Many different gang members die in Chicago each month, but so far this year, murders have been down about 20%. With every 4 hours and 13 minutes, a person is shot, and every 18 hours and 12 minutes, a person is murdered. And there's been about 120 murders so far this year, which is a steady decline from 2021, which had 149 murders around this time, with most people dying from being shot in the head or torso, with these murders happening pretty much all over the city. But even though the murders have been going down, there's been a lot of crazy murder situations, from kids dying to murders being caught on tape, which is actually the first murder that happened on February 7th, 2024, with a father getting shot in front of his two daughters and the mother of his child on tape. I can't show the full thing on YouTube, so make sure you go to my website to see the uncensored version in the murder surveillance section. But around 6.40 p.m., Turns Person, aka TP from THF46, was holding some kind of sign while walking with his two daughters and the mother of his child in the 5400 block of West Madison Avenue when two people got out of a white Nissan and shot him 24 times right in front of his daughter. They then got back into the Nissan and made a U-turn and sped off down Madison, leaving THFTP lying on a sidewalk while his family ran off. And he actually died in Long City Hood. 29-year-old Terrence Persons was pronounced dead at the scene, and this would mark the first brutal murder of this month. Then about eight days later on February 15th, 2024, Barry Nelson III, aka Mad Max slash BJ from the Boogie World set, was sitting in a car in Bud City Hood in the 10,000 block of South Longley Avenue when someone walked up on him and shot him multiple times around 12.20 p.m. He was shot in the face and neck and was pronounced dead at the scene at only the age of 30. Boogie World slash Ace Block is a set of mostly conservative vice lords. They mostly beef with sets like G-Town, Hit Squad, Dune Squad, and Face World 069. Then on the same day around 7.50 p.m., Jordan Jackson, aka J from the BBMG set was found with gunshot wounds at about 7.50 p.m. in Johnny Mobs hood in the 1300 block of South Springfield Avenue. He was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital where he was pronounced dead from his injuries. About 10 days later, a 14-year-old from NLMB would die. It was February 25th, 2024. 14-year-old Amir Dees, aka D Money, allegedly from the NLMB set, was inside a home in the 8000 block of South Vincent's Avenue when police say two attackers possibly as young as 14 years old bursted into the home and after a brief argument, they opened fire, killing Amir. This happened in Face World 079's hood. Then a week later on March 2nd, 2024, a 15-year-old would die. Jeremy Smith Jr. aka Jermo from the Hood Gang set was in the 500 block of West Roosevelt Road when a 14 year old boy walked up on him and shot him multiple times. After the shooting, the police chased the boy and put him into custody. But 15 year old Jeremy Smith Jr. was taken to Strogas Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Then March 6, 2024, Jabaris Williams aka Baba from the BBMG set was in the 2900 block of West Fulton Street at about 10.40 a.m. with a girl. When someone got out of a car and opened fire, he was taken to Strogas Hospital in critical condition where he died later on. The woman, 21 years of age, was struck five times in the leg and was also taken to Strogas Hospital but in stable condition. This was the second loss for BBMG in 2024 and he got killed in SF Hood. BBMG lost a high-ranking member back in 2022 and this guy was actually killed on film, which you can go to my site and see the uncensored version in the murder surveillance section. Then March 8th, 2024, the Legion's Crawl, aka Lil D slash Toadie from the Trap City set was near 
Alley just before 2.30 p.m. in the 7400 block of South Euclid Avenue when a fight broke out where him and a 20-year-old man was shot, but 36-year-old Delegion's crawl was pronounced dead at the scene with bullet wounds to the head. Then March 12, 2024, Antonio Rogers, aka Stony Rich from Ducktown, and Tawan Washington, aka Man Man from BBC, were traveling north in a blue sedan at about 3.20 p.m. in the 6800 block of South State Street when someone in a silver car fired shots. They both suffered gunshot wounds to the head and was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where they was pronounced dead from their injuries. Then only a day later on March 13, 2024, this guy was from the DOD set and DOD beefs hard with BVC, so this next murder was probably retaliation for Meman. Tyree Player aka Lil Terry slash Swervo from DOD was inside a parked car with his 15 year old sister in the Roseland neighborhood in the 200 block of West 109th place just after 12.30am when a shot spotter reported 18 rounds fired. When they arrived, they found 24 year old Terry Player and his 15 year old sister also named Terry Player with an I. Sadly, they were both pronounced dead at the scene. Reports say that three people walked up on the car and started shooting. DOD is a set of mostly black disciples located on 68th and Wabash. They pretty much EBK, which means they beef with pretty much everybody. Then on March 20th, 2024, NLMB would take another loss. Tyree Brown, aka Ty from the NLMB set, was standing outside in the 700 block of East 91st place when a white vehicle pulled up and opened fire. 14 year old Tyree Brown was taken to Coma Children's Hospital where he died. Then, March 26, 2024, an OTE member would die, and this guy would die in an unusual way, which OTE is a gangster disciple set from Cabrini Green Projects around the area of OTE. Oak and Hudson, and this gang has been around since the 80s. And Cabrini Green, where they're located, the high rise buildings is long gone and is only 30 to 50 percent inhabited, and the rest are vacant row houses. But on March 26, 2024, Ronnie Johnson, aka Ronnie from OTE, was found at about 9 a.m. in the alley in the 2600 block of West 61st Street. He was found with multiple stab wounds to the groin, and allegedly, a female was the one that stabbed him. He was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. The female though was taken into custody by police, which that murder is a crazy murder that probably involved a relationship. My prayers and condolences go out to the family members that lost their loved ones, but that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.